The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 7, verses 21 and 24 to 27. Jesus said to his disciples, It is not those who say to me, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the person who does the will of my Father in heaven. Therefore, anyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house on rock. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew, and hurled themselves against that house, and it did not fall. It was founded on rock. But everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a stupid man who built his house on sand. Rain came down, flood rose, gales blew, and struck that house, and it fell, and what a fall it had. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, there are two great permanent truths within this passage that we have heard right now. There is only one way in which a man's sincerity can be proved and that is by practice. Fine words can never be substitute for fine deeds. There is only one proof of love and that is obedience. Jesus has shown us this obedience by being obedient till death. God's love for us was manifested by Jesus through his ultimate obedience unto cross. Faith, dear friends, without practice is a contradiction. And love without obedience is an impossibility. During this first week of Advent, we ask the Lord to bless us so that by His grace we may strive to be His genuine disciples. By His grace, we may construct our lives upon his words, upon his teachings, so that no matter what difficulties we undergo as we prepare ourselves, may no difficulty distract us or take us away from our Savior Jesus. And to remain firm on the teachings of Jesus, we need first and foremost to surrender ourselves. So dear friends, as we are in the first week of Advent, let us totally and completely give ourselves into the hands of our Savior Jesus. Let us build our lives upon His teachings and be thus genuine disciples of Jesus in and through obedience. May God bless us. Amen.